a lot of my time was spent on my own making worlds. It's my fish tank or the library that I made in my bedroom. It's almost like a dress rehearsal for going outside of that world. I had to create it before I could expose it. And I think it, that part of that is also wanting to tell your story and not feeling confident enough, enough to tell it. So using the images to get your point of view across and to feel connected without actually having to talk to people or be that vulnerable in the flesh. Because I found I could be really vulnerable with the storytelling if it was removed by using an artwork in between. It was very introspective. When I first started at art school, my pictures were very literal. Like there would even be text in them, like this is the story, like in case you didn't realise, this is what this is about. And then during the course of my degree, I realised that it was more interesting for me to remove some information and leave it open a bit. And I think people can insert themselves a bit better into something or, or I like people to reflect on things a bit more rather than be given a finite um, narrative. I'm fascinated by hope, faded glory. The images are in this scary, beautiful world. And I think that in itself is a message because life is a bit like that world. I mean, I think those images are a pretty close representation of how I see the world. So there's got to be a vulnerability there. There's danger and there's engagement. I mean, it's all, it's on the precipice of a few different things and I think that's the tension and I think that's what you have to find is the recipe that is the right amount of those things. I think when my work improved was when I stopped trying to be the photographer that I thought I should be and just do what I liked. The, the pictures are a combination of the buildings that I love. It's just everything that I like put together. I mean, it feels very natural to me and when I don't work against what feels good to me, it, that's the best result. I was the underdog, like I am the underdog and that's how I've always felt. I like to rally for the underdogs and I think if you can make, if you can make people have that empathy or that connection with the underdog, I think that's something that people don't often feel or think about. And that's what I like about the plants that are, they're just, they're just, you know, we call them weeds even though they're technically, they're not weeds, they're plants, but they're discarded. So I kind of like taking something that is overlooked and making it heroic.